Okay, this is a video um, dedicated to Peter from across the uh, pond. He lives in New Zealand and I live in Australia. Hi, Peter. Um, he was asking the question that when you open up to flash the software, it's actually got ESP Easy version 2 developer 11, normal um, 4096. Well, that is actually a spooner software um, not sure why it's got that there but I'd say that maybe he's he's used some of the code which is open source so it doesn't matter who's doing what hi Peter and there's Peter's question um, anyway what we're going to go on with is I had a lot of problems trying to connect to the uh, the bridge at first now the first thing I did was I went off the the, um, the normal header and Windows would not open the page. Um, so the page was not that one. It was this one here. So it uh, was 192.168.4.1. I found that out because I use Fling on or Fing, Fing on Android to locate it after logging into the site. Now, to log into the site, okay, so you have to connect to the server, which is your Wi-Fi network, which is down the bottom, as per usual. Where is it? Right there. And this is Windows. So Windows had a lot of problems. It wouldn't open up the web page. So I end up using Android, but when you open that up, I have a different password there now, right? But when you originally open it up, it asked you for a password. Now it took me a little while to find it because um, the website was down. So it's the password to use is Fibonacci, F-I-B-O-N-E-I-C-C-I. And when you do log in, and you need the full password for the website, it's admin Fibonacci. And then from there, you can change your password. Um, it's then comes up with some stuff. But see, the problem was I was having a lot of problems with just getting onto it through uh, Windows. So if you have a problem with Windows, I suggest you use um, the... the uh, app called F-I-N-G, um, check what uh, ports are open and then get it to open in a web page and then log in with uh, Fibonacci and then you can do stuff for what you want to do. Now, if you do notice, I have got a address of 192.168.244.1 Yes, that's not exactly the same as the one up there, but when you disconnect from the header, the he if you're on the header of the actual um, unit, you'll get you have to use that address. Now, if you're off the USB connection like I am now, you need to use this address here. And once you change your password, you will be asked to, so you go down to admin and you change your password, right? You will be um, given that password that you've used will also change the Wi-Fi password as well. So you just got to remember that when you log in, it'll be your new password and that password will require numbers um, it will require um, characters and letters plus a capital letter, at least eight characters long. Okay, so that's it. Now, my main problem at the moment is when I press the learn button, the actual device does not beep. It's meant to, do, to beep. Now, that was the only problem I've got at the moment. I'm still working on it and it's a work in progress. But it took me all morning to stuff around trying to find the passwords and that because his main 
site, which is Tinkerman, was down and was down all morning. So I had a lot of problems with that. Other than that, um, once I've got that programmed, I should be able to, and once I've pressed the button and, and got it programmed with, if I can get that, the beep noise to work, which is a little beeper, I'll be able to continue. So I've got one problem with it and hopefully that will be fixed soon. Um, if not, well, you know, um, we'll keep going around in circles. I might even actually program the second, the second bridge, which is, you know, just sitting there doing nothing and see how that goes as well. See, I've got multiple um, switches around here and then all I have to do is do my um, Google Home and I should be almost finished. I have some other stuff coming in the mail and that should be fun to play with as well. Uh, we'll have a go at that as well and we'll reflash the basic son off which um, really needs another flash. And yeah, so um, hi Pete, and thank you for the question. And I much appreciate your um, input because I, I value your input because Pete uh, did a lot of work on the, um, the touch. And I have actually, Pete sent some information to Sonoff to ask them about the touch. Uh, they haven't responded completely back to me um, in fact, I ended up putting the video up that um, because I had to put tape around it as per your instructions um, and to stop it from shorting out to the metal, which it didn't short out, but it still had a lot of problems. And I have ordered two more of those to see if I can get one of them going. So I know this is a long video and I'll try and cut it now. Um, if you like this video, please thumbs up. Um, please subscribe more subscribers the more work we get done and I treat these not as um, not as you being just my subscribers I treat you as my friends and we're all getting together and we're IOT nuts and you know like and we're trying to solve problems to get our um, IOT devices working and I appreciate any input from anyone else because you know, I'm only learning as well. Okay, um, bye for now. Talk to you soon.